Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We have a special guest with us this morning. She is the calm before the storm. Ooh. She holds it down on the Breakfast Club. Welcome, Angela Yee. Yay! Yay. Hey. Yes, to these shoes, yes. Lena. <laughs> to the Stella McCartney. Yes. Listen, yes. I'm on this lip service tour, and I have like two weeks of sweatsuits and sneakers in my bag. Yes. And I was like, when I found out I was doing Sister Circle, I said, I know they're going to come out all fly. <laughs> right. And I'm they coming out in my sweats. But That's no. all right. You this look is good. like a good, a fancy sweat. Good fancy this sweat. This ain't your ordinary sweat. This is right. my best sweatsuit. So I love it. Well, you, well, you look fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, of you. course, radio girl to radio girl. What is a radio woman to radio woman? Let's do that. Yes. What's the best part of the of your job? What keeps Keeps you waking up in the morning. I think it's the people that listen, because that's really when you do radio and you love it, that's what it's for. Yeah. Right? You want to be able to inform people and entertain them at the same time. And I think radio is different than other things because you also want people to feel a connection with mm -hmm. you. Like you want people to feel like they're having a conversation with you. So just being able to wake up, do these stories, present them, educate people. It's great when people can say, I was listening to your show and I learned this, or thanks mm -hmm. to you, I was able to, you know, figure out how to pay my taxes and get money back. Just right. things like that that you can help people with mm -hmm. and it affects their everyday life. Well, let's get on into these hair headlines. <laughs> okay. Child, you know how it is. Yes. <laughs> but we here down to the sister circle, we don't do hateration, holleration. Mm -hmm. So right. we're just going to ask you this and you answer it however you want. Um, and we, we good. But let's start with Breakfast Club and Charlemagne. Okay. And this drama with Gucci Mane and, you know, the people say that um, uh, Charlemagne perpetuated the entire situation and then it, went, it just spiraled into this big argument between you and Gucci Mane. My question is, you know, being a woman in mm -hmm. this industry and having to deal with the brunt of um, men, <laughs> quite frankly put, um, how are you accepting this situation? How are you dealing with and handling this situation? And how did this situation truly come about? Um, so the truth of the matter is, uh, I don't know, I guess Gucci Mane has an issue with me. So for an interview that we did in the past, and I think like a lot of times on the show, something happens, I might be the easiest target because I'm the woman. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like he had whatever issue and you know, he made a remark that I don't know if he was being really serious, but that kind of spiraled out of control where he said I was um, on his D mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that. And if you hear the original conversation, you know, it wasn't really fun to me. And I think sometimes, all the time we get this, right, as women, like you take a picture with a guy and they're like, oh yeah, she's definitely trying to right. him, or you can yeah. tell that. And so I think it's always different, like from women and what we do, if a guy comes and is somebody that you would want to network with, you don't even want to be like, oh, can I get your information? Because then they're like, oh, she tried to right, talk to me. Right, right, so right. sometimes it is hard, like just doing things because I don't even feel comfortable when I'm being innocent you can't and even trying network. to network. Yeah. yeah. And so it is, I think, a lot of times more difficult for us. So that happened. And I think they just don't have, like as men, don't have the same sensitivities that we have in certain situations. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was going to ask you. Mm -hmm. Being on the show with two men, um, do you ever feel that they're protective? when they should be or are they, or do they just kind of let you fend for yourself? Um, it varies. I think Envy might be more, a little more like protective mm -hmm. than, um, you know, I think the thing, Charlamagne's personality is just different than ours. Yeah. He's mm -hmm. very like, says things about people. He loves like the back and forth. He likes to do that and he, I'm not the type of person that likes to do things because it's going to go viral. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't like to do that, but that's more his lane. Like, right. he likes viral moments. Right. He and might be like, this is great. They yelled at me. And, you right. know, that happened. And, and we what? had... And I'm not like that. I'm more like, okay, I don't want anybody to ever come and feel like they had a bad experience. Mm -hmm. right. So it's just two different approaches that we have. Mm -hmm. So you pretty much answer the next question, your strategy to your level of success. Because you could be a shock job. <laughs> you could be all of those things. But mm -hmm. you, you kind of, you, you're, you're the straight person. And people know what that is in, in, in radio. Um, how do you continue to do that and do that well while you know, protecting the women that are on your show and, and fending for them? How do you strategically place yourself? I think that I have a lot of empathy for people a lot of times. One of the main things that's important to me is doing research, right? Because I'm very into, like, if it's a book, I'm going to read the book. If it's a movie, watch the movie. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we do have a lot to do. We might have four guests in one day. Two of them might have books out. You know, somebody might be on a series that I never saw, and right. I try to do as much as I can. Sometimes it's just not possible yeah. to get it all in. But I think as a sign of respect, I do try to do those yeah. things so that when you come, you feel like, okay, she at least right. knows who I am, has some idea, did some research, 
guests because I think that is a respect thing when yeah. you have a guest. Yeah. So that's one thing that I always do. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even, you know, sometimes you hear things and I do feel like we get so desensitized also because a lot of things are normalized, right? Because yes. I've always worked yes. with men. Mm -hmm. And so I hear conversations all the time, even behind the scenes. And sometimes you just be like, uh, and you don't even bother, you know? Yes. Yeah. And because if you try to combat everything, I think you'll be doing that constantly and driving yourself crazy. You know what, let's talk about something that's not foolish. Okay. Let's talk about the lip service tour. Yes. And how wonderful that is and how you get to work with women. And what is the biggest surprise that you've had since being on it? Well, the lip service tour has been amazing. So it really kicked off, um, you know, on, when did we start? October 28th, and mm -hmm. that was in Philly. And then we did New York, and then Atlanta. So yes. that's why I'm in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just been fun. Like, first of all, it's a different dynamic for me. The reason I even do lip service is because I am used to being around men all the time. And so, like, stuff like this is mm -hmm. amazing for me because yes. mm -hmm. it's a whole different dynamic. It's a whole different conversation. And it feels, like, nice. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. It's nice. easy, right. She right. <laughs> said it feels like nice. nice. Yeah, so <laughs> that's good to feel like, okay, I'm with my sisters, we're, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. So the reason I did that is for that. And I also wanted people to be able to talk about sex in an environment where it's nothing is being judged, mm -hmm. nothing is off limits, and we have a good time. It's not like we're trying to catch you in something. We're just trying to have like regular conversation. Mm -hmm. I know you guys had Tank on. Yeah. yeah. And he was on lip service and made some statements that went viral mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. But that was never the intent. Like, right. And I was saying behind the scenes, you know, we had that whole episode and I didn't even think about it afterward. Like I wasn't like, I can't believe Tank said that. Because in context, it wasn't that big a deal to me at the time. Because right. like I said, we talk crazy on that show. Mm -hmm. And so when that went viral, I actually felt bad. I was like, this wasn't what Tink was really saying. Right. It wasn't that big a deal in the whole hour long episode. But then you isolate like that one piece. That little piece. Have y'all spoken to each other? Yeah, he okay. came yeah. on the breakfast okay. club. Okay, afterward. okay, good. Yeah. And then you can't always control how other people are perceive. going to perceive things. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, but we can control how you perceive Angela Yee. And when we come <laughs> back, we will have more with her, so stay with yes. us. Yes. <laughs> We are back with the amazing Angela Yee. Yes. I love that description. Yes, the yes. amazing Angela Yee, <laughs> yes. right? Right, I love Speaking it. Speaking of how amazing you are, you are actively involved in your community. And can you tell us more about becoming the first New York Public Library Ambassador, yes. first of all, because let me get it right. The first global ambassador for diversity inclusion mm -hmm. and community engagement for Brooklyn Sports and Entertainment Global. Mm -hmm. Talk yeah, that's to us where about the, that. That's where our Brooklyn Nets play, just yeah. so you know. <laughs> At the bar. Y'all done took Kevin Durant and everything uh, like that. I don't even, I'm not even still. You should applaud us. Don't hate, girl. I thought you said no hateration today. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't say Kevin Durant when right. you in the Nets was going to be right. involved. <laughs> But yeah, so, you know, all of that is like the New York Public Library. I really grew up going to the library a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to encourage people to read more. I have a book club also mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. That's fantastic. So they did ask me if I wanted to work with the New York Public Library. And I was like, absolutely. So I've been doing that. And I'm starting a book club mm -hmm. for um, high schools. Yes. So we're starting it kind of small in three different schools. And then we're going to expand. Mm -hmm. But I just want people to realize how cool it is to have those things. Because when I do my book club, it turns into like a town hall experience. Yes. And I think that's really necessary. Necessary right yeah, now. That's people what are, Oprah did. Yeah, people so are like time. really just reading off of social media, and yeah. those are just quick hits. And you yeah. need to like read full bodies of work. Absolutely, yeah. it's yeah. beautiful. So, and then with the with the um, Brooklyn Nets and the Barclays, I mean, you know, I yeah. know we all love the Nets here, so <laughs> it was a no-brainer. <laughs> <saw> no <laughs> but anyway, no shade on your day, August the twenty eighth, yes. Angela Yee Day. Tell us about how that has just sparked your soul. Oh, that was so dope. So I got my own day, and I didn't even know that was happening. They were honoring me, at, and the mayor was doing it at Gracie Mansion, Bill de Blasio and his wife, um, Shirley McRae. And so I came, I just thought I was getting like this, you know, certificate. Mm -hmm. And then I saw on the bottom of it, it was like, we proclaim this day, wow, August 28th. Yeah. So I was really excited. And so for the first year, um, you know, this was my first year having to experience that, so I put together something. And it's right before the West Indian American Day Parade, and you know, I'm half West Indian. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make sure I did something before that to kind of lead up to the parade that was just free for everybody, really family-oriented, kids involved. And so we did something um, in Brooklyn, and we had VP Records involved. They brought a bunch of different artists out to come and perform. Good for you. So that was really dope, and it was free for everyone. We had like double Dutch aerobics. Yeah. I think they're from here in Atlanta. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they might have been on the show. They might have. Yeah. And they, they, they were have. great. <laughs> they could teach anybody how to jump double yeah. Dutch. Y'all can jump double Dutch, right? She can. I can jump double Dutch. You can't, Rashad? No, I'm no, surprised. No, that's just not my gift. Oh, man. I swim. 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 I swim.
able to jump in. <laughs> but yeah, so fine. that was just exciting for me to just have the community mm -hmm. be able to come out. Like Wingstop gave free wings the whole entire day. Mm -hmm. Essentia Water gave free waters. Like we had all kinds of services for people, you know, with um, being able to sign up for small business services. Just mm -hmm. so many different things that I think were really beneficial. Look at you, just you just you just light up. That's what I'm <laughs> saying about like what you have going on. And things on. that matter to in me. in the world and in the community and to her. Right. Speaking yes. of which, your real estate. Mm -hmm. Yes. So passionate about that. We were in the break. She was talking about um, closing on a new building. Talk mm -hmm. to us about that and that real estate venture. Well, so what I've been doing is uh, when I first bought my house in Brooklyn, I bought a two-family brownstone. I never thought I'd be able to do it because it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. And so it was something that was like a huge deal to me. And I have a great realtor who I love, by the way. Uh, Sarah Golan is her name. And so then she, I also started buying property in Detroit. I bought three houses in Detroit. Go ahead, and Angela. I sold one of them and then I have two more. One of them I'm selling, one of them I'm keeping, and it looks amazing. So when it's done, I'm gonna post yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. But I've been posting as I go along. And then um, I just closed on another condo in Brooklyn in Williamsburg. Mm, good. And my realtor got it rented out for the whole year. Of wow. Paid That's for. beautiful. That's a good time. See, I just love the way, again, the way you light up on what is all of yours. Yep. Keep walking in that light. No, security is so important to feel like no matter what, if I'm not, even if I never get married, right, to know that I could take care of myself and not have to worry about anything and know that, like, you know, anything could happen in this business. Yes. So, yeah. We know that. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> right. So it's good to know that I'm not depending on Multiple having streams. to get right that mm -hmm. paycheck. I have a juice bar in Brooklyn. I have a press juice business mm. also. So I'm all over the place with it, but it's all really interconnected. And, you know, I do work with the small business services in New York to make sure that people know about these programs that are available to you. Mm -hmm. that you so you're not just for. keeping it all to yourself. Right. You're spreading you wanna, the wealth. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. available for you and your taxpayer dollars to get these free classes, these free certifications. And it is important. Like, I still go and take classes and they're like Angela what are you doing here you could send someone I'm like no I need to know how to do this myself yes, yes. you're never too old or too evolved to yes. learn absolutely right. well we love everything that you are doing we're very excited for you be sure to follow her at Angela Yee on Instagram to see where you can catch her on tour and of course you can hear her daily on the breakfast club and of course the conversation <laughs> always continues because it wouldn't anywhere else absolutely. except at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms yay Angela thank, thank you, you. Yes.